I want to impress a girl who works at McDonald's by creating motion graphics in CapCut, using only an image. Maybe she'll give me her number. I hope so. Unfortunately, my last girlfriend left me after that Lay's Chips video. I think most of you remember her. We had a little fight together, and she didn't like that commercial video for Lay's Chips. Anyway, I'm single now, so I'm looking for a new girlfriend. First, I need to find an image. Hmm. I remember DiCaprio got that girl's number in the movie Inception by moving buildings. I think I can do that too, so I need an image of a building. There are two sites with good quality free images for YouTubers like me. One of them is Unsplash. Let's see what buildings we can find. These days, girls like Dubai, but I'm not rich enough, so I should find an old apartment that I can afford the bills for. I think this image is good, but I need to separate the layers. To separate an image, I'm going to use Photoshop. You can use the PhotoP site. They have the same interface. Open a new project with these dimensions, 1080 by 3840, but make sure it's vertical. Import your image, then duplicate it and move it to the top. Zoom in a little to see the windows better. Move it down slightly to align the matching parts. You'll notice that the air conditioners are in the same position. Now, select the mask, choose the brush tool, and use black color to soften the edges, blending the bricks. Continue this process until you can no longer tell it's a building with separate floors. Remember, always view your artwork as an observer, not just the creator. This perspective helps you see it differently. But this advice depends on which part of the process you're working on. So don't attack me for saying an artist shouldn't care about public opinion. I understand that sometimes, it's just about you and your work. Okay, let's get back to editing. Duplicate the building again to make it taller. Follow the same steps as before. In the end, you should get something like this. The tallest building in the world. It's my building. Mr. Petty Apartments. Can all 10k subscribers live there? Sign up in the comments if you want to be my neighbor. Now, group all the layers together. Duplicate the group folder, right click, and convert it to a smart object. Then choose to resize the layer. Next, let's separate some parts of our building. Those who never comment on videos live here. We'll separate them using the mask tool. You can use the pen tool too. Choose whichever you're more comfortable with. Select the area completely. Right click and choose layer via cut. Separate other parts of the building like this. You should end up with four or five sections depending on how detailed you want to go. To export them as PNG files, turn off all other layers except the one you want to export. If you're working on the photo P site, you must definitely do this. Before we start the next part, let's introduce the sponsor of this video, Wondershare Uni Converter. They have a great toolbox for editors, offering a variety of tools including a video compressor. Just import your video, click here to select your compression level. I choose the recommended range, then click OK and compress. This way you can reduce the size of your video without losing quality, as you can see on screen. This allows you to quickly share your videos with clients and friends on social media. Check the first link in the description to try it out. First, let's set our project settings. Go to Modify and set the ratio to vertical real size. You can choose any size you want. Then set the frame rate to 30 FPS. Everything looks good, so choose Save. To better see the details while working on the reel, move the player window to the right side. This way, you have more control over your editing without needing to resize the window every time. And if you want the project files, feel free to check the first link in the description. Import all building layers into the timeline. I want to use the background layer under all the other layers to fill empty areas. Then, stack the other layers on top of each other. Select all layers and scale them to 200%.
while still selecting the layers, increase the duration to 15 seconds. Now, lock the background and second layers and turn them off since we don't need them right now. I want to show you what I am going to do. We have three layers here. As I mentioned before, this building belongs to those who watch my tutorials, but don't like or comment. The middle building belongs to people who like and comment, but don't give any super thanks. Seriously, stop spending your money on your boyfriend or girlfriend. If you want to join this building, just click here, then choose super thanks and move this to the right. Now you buy an apartment unit. The only way we can animate them is up and down. First, lock these layers and move the building down to see the edges. Make a keyframe for the position. Then, go to the end of the layer and move it up to see the edges again. Let's check the animation. Do the same animation for the other layers. Let's check the animation. But what's our problem here? Can you tell me? Oh, right, they have the same movement. That's bad, they should move in opposite directions. So the middle building should go down, and the third building on the left side should go up. Like this animation you see on the screen. So, if I enable the background layer, now the cool part begins. I can export this and send it to that girl to get her number. But I changed my mind. I can add some cool stuff to it. So let's make it a masterpiece to impress her more. Then she definitely will marry me. Are you ready? So let's go. First, create a compound clip for each layer. We do it because CapCut added this update last week. This way we can move it without changing keyframes. And we can create compound clips three times. Select these layers, duplicate them, rotate them, and place them randomly. Just do it a few times to get something like this. Now for color grading. Select one of the layers. Let's make them more fresh and colorful. Increase saturation to 30. Decrease highlight to 20. Set clarity to 70. Set sharpen to 3 or 5. For vignette, set it to 26. Decrease illumination to 13 and shadow to 10. Change the temperature to make it a little warmer. Now, do the same settings for all layers. I'll wait here for you guys to finish. A few moments later. Don't do it manually, just click on apply to all. And voila, it's done. See what we created. Let's add more details. Add an adjustment layer and increase the vignette to get more focus in the middle of the shot. You can add a hazy effect between layers to add some blur around the shot and make other buildings pop. but decrease the blur to 8. On top of all layers, add a wide angle effect to make this shot cool. Set the number to 10. Now select all layers and create a compound clip. Then add motion blur and set the number to 10. Because our animation is not very fast, we won't see much motion. And because editors forget everything very fast, make sure to smash the like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. This is our final animation we made together. Let's send it to that McDonald's girl worker to see her response. Oh God, no God, please no. And remember, as always, stay creative. Sure.